number one. Yellow trunks for Chris Sorrow, blue trunks for John McAllister. I know one thing Soro said, he wants to land that big right hand. He wants to fake him out with a jab and come with the overhand right, straight down the pipe sometimes. Soro pumping the jab. You see him loading up the right hand. There's the right hand, counter right hand. Wow. Lands big from McAllister. Jeez. Definitely took Soro off his striking line. McAllister seemed does seem thrown off by the jab of Soro's right there. A lot of unnecessary head movement right there. I think that comes from a lack of experience, and he hasn't had that many fights professionally. 40 seconds gone, round number one. So trying to be aggressive, but from range off the jab, lead left hook, overhand right. Okay, McAllister's coming with that awkward movement. That overhand right is going to be there sometimes. When he ducks down to the right hand, he comes over top. So he's also got to be very careful keeping that left jab hand up. Callister, you can see him rolling the shoulder, looking for the level change, slipping that jab of sorrow. Now waving him in is John McAllister to his opponent. He wants him to come in so he can land that big overhand punch. Hopefully they've been watching the back and see that that happens sometimes, you're going to get knocked out. Big overhand right, counter right hand, clutching his head, and down goes John McAllister. Yeah, I think that's the end of the night right there. He's not getting up, I don't think. That eye is hurting him badly. He does not beat the 10 count and the win with patience, with class, with power for Chris Sorrow. Wow. I got to be honest with you. I've been hit by many. I don't want to get hit by either one of those guys. They look like they hit very hard. That was just he clipped him in the eye, and you could tell it cut him open immediately, and he wanted nothing to do with that. Then McAllister, he did not want to get up. It hurt him bad. I don't know if he got poked kind of in the eye as he got hit. I'd have to watch the replay. John McCarthy at his referee training seminars for MMA teaches referees, watch how a fighter falls. As you see the replay, watch how John McAllister falls. He clutches his face, he clutches his head. He fell very hard. It wasn't even just like he fell. He like threw himself to the ground as he got hit. Grabbing that eye, the eye was in pain. So you could tell very quickly as he hit the ground and you get about the count of five, he doesn't want anything to do with this fight. He doesn't want to stand up. McAllister going face first on the mat, and that is never a good sign for the fallen fighter. He's got a good little lack over his left eye right there where he got hit. But he's giving us a thumbs up, so. Okay, a little replay here. Let's see what we have. That counter right hand. And you see, it didn't knock him down. He turned and fell down. Here it is again. Just a counter right hand as he was backing up. Was so, geez, that's him backing up. I'd like to see him hit coming forward. Immediately, you see McAllister again clutching his face, clutching his head, going face first onto the canvas. And it appeared that McAllister already had a cut over his left eye. That was from something before. I didn't even notice that punch landing, but he hit him. It was over his right or in his right eye this time, and that was the one the end of the night. Chris Sorrow said, I want a fast paced start, but I still have to be smart. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. Yeah, he looked good in there, very calm, relaxed. He didn't worry about those overhand rights that were coming. He set up the punch with his jab like he said he was going to, and he's trying to set the right hand. I didn't think he'd be able to do it backing up, but he did. Back we go to Jeff Houston. Jeez, that eye's almost closed. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Wayne Spinola, reaches the count of 10 at 1 minute 32 seconds into round one for your winner by KO.